So guys, welcome to the actual submission. I decided to do uh, post-production commentary, even though I suspect a lot of people would have liked a live commentary, but the thing is, it just gets irritating to say things over and over again every time I want to restart, and eventually there's just nothing left to say. Yeah, this part, I generally play it kind of cautiously, so... And I often slide off ledges there because sometimes Mega Man will slide and sometimes he won't. Here, the important thing is just not to panic, really, because uh, if you uh, try to jump too quickly, you'll probably just make a mistake. But that thing does have a little while on the timer before while it gets stunned, so you you definitely have time there to uh, avoid issues. These guys aren't too bad, just snipe them when they get near you. The other ones don't even catch you, so who cares? <laughs> They're kind of a non-event. Yeah, I can never get that first try. Glad good thing it's not a speedrun, or else I'd feel obligated to do that first try, but... This part's easy. Just He moves the perfect distance anyway, and you don't even really have to put any effort into that. This is a straight-up platforming segment, and, uh, whoops, I fell off the ladder, apparently. <laughs> so this is kind of my forte, I guess, compared to the parts where you do shooting stuff, because I don't, I haven't played a lot of that genre. In fact, pretty much all I've played of that genre is the hour and a half of Mega Man I played at my friend's house once, so... That, that bottom one isn't as tight as I first thought it was. Here, I, I can just get off screen before that guy shoots me, which is really good because otherwise there would be issues. These blocks, I, I, uh, I don't even get these blocks. It seems like there's a way to destroy them. I guess there's some sort of explosives you get or something. One of the power-ups, but I can't make use of them. And there, one of them's blocking the other path up here. That seems like a really dumb that the it's blocking the path, but you have no idea until you go all the way up there. It's like... They could have at least put the block at the bottom or something. See right there, there's that block. Go away, Java. I don't want an update right now. Yeah, the the other octopus squid guy jumped off. It, you, I don't think you caught it. You probably just caught the Java update, but he jumped off and messed up. Oh wait, yeah, but. I recorded the actual video earlier, so you won't be getting the Java update, it's only for me. Silly me. Okay, uh, this guy, uh, I guess I can use some ladder foo to avoid him. I can get past him with some luck if he jumps high enough when I run through, but uh, I don't have the reaction time to ensure that it'll happen in a restart up here, based on complete luck. Not fun. So I figured this out, and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it's kind of finicky though, because if I go up too high, I'll get up on the platform, and I actually do that at one point here, which is kind of derpy, but I managed to get away with it. As you can see, most of my shots are going under him, because I'm mostly being careful not to let that happen, but I cut lucky, so... Maybe I just got down there fast enough and it works most of the time, I don't know. Yep, but now he's dead. Takes a lot of hits, that guy. <laughs> Again, good thing it's not a speedrunner. I'd feel obligated to go underneath. And now for a million of these guys, because level design. <laughs> Put a million of the same obstacle in a row that you've already used a bunch of times, and it's not interesting or difficult. <laughs> Whatever, though, the rest of the levels are pretty good. I think it's a pretty good game, I guess. And now for the boss fight. Uh, at first I was getting creamed by this guy, so I was just looking around for an AI exploit, and eventually I found one. Shoot him once there, jump over two of these, jump over him when he jumps up there, and fire once at him on the drop, and then he kind of gets locked into this somehow. He comes forward and tries to shoot you, you back him into the wall with your shot. The important thing is just to make sure to jump after he's already throwing the lightning bolt, because if uh, you jump before he throws the lightning bolt, He'll jump down and murder your face off, and there's no way to avoid 
damage really at that point, I don't think. Not without any, like, decent items or weapons, I guess. So I'm just kind of doing foot shots over and over again. Not much else to say here. But this was actually kind of intense, this part, because it was just like, if I jump too early, he's going to come down and kill me. So. And there we go. Power up get. Can't use the power up because now I'm probably going to end up playing a different game for the Let's Rage Olympics, but...